Coach Cam Coach made this shit. I'm Brennan Cron, this is Rex, and welcome to Jamming with Cron and Rex. I don't have it this week. <laughs> Ready is a relative term. Yeah, I literally just was like, oh, I wonder what I'm going to say right right now. <laughs> the most not ready podcast. The most unprepared podcast. Yeah. How you been feeling this week, man? It's been all right. <laughs> so right now, I'm kind of fucking annoyed at you. <laughs> <laughs> Great week till just now. No, yeah. um, it's been all right. Nothing, yeah. nothing eventful this week, really. Dude, I don't know why, but for... Well, hold on. What about you? How has your week been? bad <laughs> no uh for whatever reason this week i was maybe thinking you would have an answer to this who decides what colors are assigned to what awareness so you mean like breast cancer awareness being pink yeah i don't know yeah 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 because like I don't how know. do you come up with the colors i don't know because i had a red iphone isn't it like for AIDS? Yeah, product red that's yeah. What, yeah that's AIDS, right yeah that's fucking dope I didn't, yeah. yeah, but not AIDS, but I like, I, I didn't get it because I was like, damn, I really want to support AIDS, support AIDS awareness. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so awareness of it. Not just continuing the fight <laughs> for AIDS. <laughs> I really think it's Lil Wayne. It might've been two chains. I think it might've been their collab album, but it was a uh, pink in my cup supporting breast cancer and they don't say awareness. Yeah. And <laughs> just like, supporting breast cancer. Like, you're not supposed to support breast cancer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, I was just thinking about that because like, I know I know like every person that played sports like about like seven eight years ago had those pink Nike elites. Yeah, like the breast cancer ones. Yeah, like nobody really got them for that. But I just remember bawling the fuck out in some pink breast cancer mm-hmm. awareness socks and yeah, I don't. You know, I don't know. I've just like maybe pick yeah. better colors and we'll be aware of you because like cool. right now I only know two colors. For awareness, not just in general. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's kind of weird. Also, like the sports thing is like, it's like, oh, we wear pink for breast cancer awareness, but no one like broke it down and told us like, like, hey, guys can get it too. Like, I didn't even hear that until really late. Yeah, yeah. but like all through sports, I was always wearing pink, and I think October is breast cancer awareness month. What what month? October, I think. Maybe that sounds remember. right. That, it, might no, be no, it is a later that month. That sounds right. Yeah. But I remember always wearing like the pink and stuff, but like we didn't talk about it. We just was like this week we, or this month we're wearing pink. It's like, okay, cool. I've never met a guy that has breast cancer. I, I've never met a woman who has breast cancer. Oh, my grandma did. <laughs> I didn't meet her. Like you said that like, oh. y- you knew. Well, I have. Yeah. I've met her. Yeah. But I think she's doing okay. I hope. Yeah. I should probably ask her about it. <laughs> And yeah. she got it like three years ago or something. Yeah, hopefully she's doing all right. I don't know. She didn't really check in on me like when I rolled my ankle or anything, so I'm not really too worried about evening the score there. She, uh, you know, she wants to ask me how I'm recovering from my ankle injuries. <laughs> then yeah, I might, I might, I might shoot her a text asking her how the breast cancer is going. All right. I don't know. I should probably. Yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that in a while. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's why I wear pink. I have no pink on me. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, I was like, surely to God, somewhere there's pink on me, but no, no. There's, there's really not. But I don't know. It like, what what would be your like color way to bring people to have like awareness of whatever you got going on? Oh, I don't like herpes. You think uh-huh. herpes has a color way? Does it? I don't know. That'd be cool Look to see up. like, like NBA have like the herpes color way. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like different shades of red. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think anybody is like trying to let people know about herpes. Though it's orange, herpes awareness. Yeah, I swear to God, a lot I, of people. Are I looked up herpes awareness. awareness ribbon. I feel like it's really ironic because I don't think like a lot of people are wanting people to be aware about their herpes. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's like an it's like an uh, brighter orange. What a gross color! It makes sense, but like it's like a Thanksgiving color, and I hate Thanksgiving color ways. Hmm. Like orange and brown. Yeah, I think I'm just describing the Cleveland Browns at this point. <laughs> yeah, but I'd say I like the color orange, but I do too. But I don't like it beside brown. It's kind of gross. I don't like Thanksgiving, so that could be like a yeah, potential maybe. reason. But yeah. you never see like a Thanksgiving colorway. Like you see, tons of people have like Christmas jerseys, but like 
Nobody was like, oh, yeah, let me get that Thanksgiving edition jersey. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's fair. Or that herpes awareness jersey. <laughs> is it true? Can you look up, is it true that you can't get herpes from someone that's not having an outbreak? Um, I'll let you know if I want to add more words on the top of that long sentence. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking up awareness ribbons. So you look up, you look up that. As if we both have laptops right in front of us, I'm and you're cool. like, you look this up. What was I doing? See? <laughs> yeah, I think the herpes is getting to my brain. Um, <laughs> it's really if fucking my memory up. You wanted me to look up, can you get herpes if someone I'm doesn't scared have to a type break? Anything on my laptop while you're in here now? Yeah, well, it's just, not it's not screen recording, so you're fine. Yeah, just be like Brazilian fart porn. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, can you feel the love tonight? That's yeah, kind of where I'm going. <laughs> at. Can you get herpes from someone who has never had an outbreak? <laughs> from someone spitting while talking. <laughs> Dude, I'd be damned if I'm going to get herpes from someone just because they're a close talker. God. All you get herpes from someone who doesn't have herpes? Someone lied to somebody. <laughs> like, oh, but I don't have herpes. They said they don't have herpes. Um. So the awareness ribbons are kind of... Some of them are wild. White is all cancers. Every cancer. Yeah. It's just a cancer awareness ribbon. Gray is brain cancer. What is it? Gray is brain cancer. Yeah. It's weird. What a dull color. For a pretty... Uh, orange is kidney cancer, and it's almost the exact same orange I saw for... Herpes. The herpes awareness. Oh, that would suck. You wear one of those and you have kidney cancer and somebody's like, ugh, dude. You're like, dude, I have kidney cancer, you prick. Like, this guy's got herpes. <laughs> okay, so I definitely, definitely told somebody at work this. Okay. Because uh, somebody at work, um, I can't remember how I got brought up, but they was like, yeah, you can't, you can't get herpes from someone if they're not having an outbreak. And we kind of went silent for a little bit. And I was like, dude, somebody 300% lied to you. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, no, no. I, he was like, I hooked up with this one girl and she wasn't having an outbreak, but she had herpes. And I was like, if that's not a red or a bright orange flag, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't care if someone wasn't having an outbreak. But yeah, this says, yes, even when no sores are present, the herpes virus is still active in the body and can spread to others. So... Yeah, I mean, I haven't kissed that dude in a while, so I think I'd, I think I'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. Use a condom every time uh, you have sex. Vaginal, oral, or anal. Ugh. Who's having sex orally with a condom? Someone. I mean, that's why they make flavored ones, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah. I just looked up another or a different one came up, and this one says all cancer ribbon is purple. Yeah. So it's not even a consistent colorway. What's your flav- uh, favorite condom flavor? <laughs> Mine's Arctic Blast. <laughs> Arctic Blast? Yeah. Blast is a really good name for a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Arctic Blast. <laughs> what are the chances what? of passing herpes without an outbreak? Can you get herpes if partner does an outbreak? Is it possible to not get herpes after exposure? Man, what? someone's really feeling optimistic when they Googled that. They're like, please. What the fuck is this? Yeah, I didn't know this was going to turn into like an STI awareness. Um, it is estimated that one out of six people have genital herpes. About 90% of them don't know it. Really? Yeah, well, apparently. Huh. That One out of six people have, have herpes. That's... And odds are they I, don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. I didn't expect that number to be that high. That's actually pretty crazy. Yeah. What was you about to say? There's a ribbon for rare diseases, and it's like zebra print. <laughs> oh, that's fucking dope. Yeah, it actually looks really cool. Yeah. Not the old diseases, but autism's flannel. No, it's um, uh, like puzzle pieces. Oh, is that? Yeah. 
I, I guess the herpes have spread to my vision. <laughs> <laughs> really fucking me up. Dude, I would love to own the the herpes awareness Nike elites. <laughs> Well, I was gonna look that up. I just want to know. No, well, I mean, you know how like like basketball shoes, like uh, KD has had like breast cancer awareness yeah. shoes because I think uh, I think they're called the Aunt Pearls because his aunt had breast cancer. Oh, that's actually, dude, that'd be funny if I had like my Uncle Donald <laughs> shoes it's for herpes awareness. <laughs> I looked it up and. As you can tell, I'm pressing enter. It won't fucking search it. That's it just, probably good. It just won't look this up. Is there a herpes awareness month? Uh, probably. Probably February. Well, Not February. because it's Black History Month. Uh, I was like, I was going to say because Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I was like, why? Why February? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want that to sound racist. <laughs> yeah, that was just a weird. Herpes cannot be spread through inanimate objects, such as spoons, glasses, razors, towels, bed sheets, etc. Herpes can only be be passed through direct skin-to-skin contact with the infected areas such as kissing, oral sex, genital-to-genital rubbing. Rubbing. I guess if you have a sword fight with somebody. (laughs) Vaginal and anal sex. You know what? I'm going to save the last three facts, and I'm just going to randomly sprinkle them throughout the podcast. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. We'll we'll have, like, a little bit of dead space, and I'll just talk about herbs. (laughs) Yeah, whatever. I would love to start doing that. Whatever's been on your mind, buddy. Just randomly drop like STI facts throughout the episode. Yeah. The herpes awareness Nike elites, it just pulls up breast cancer awareness socks. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, so. Why does breast cancer get such a pedestal to sit on? Why is nobody talking about herpes? You are. A lot. I got to make people know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be the only one that's got it. <laughs> I don't have it. I feel like at some point I yeah, yeah. it because it sounds really suspicious that yeah. I'm doing all of this. Yeah. I, I was wondering if you were just never going to tell, but sure. I can't wait for like my 2K card. It's like a bronze Roy, like herpes. <laughs> Herpy awareness Roy, bronze. <laughs> my moments card is just bronze and it's herpes. 69 overall rating. <laughs> My defense is fucking zero. <laughs> Dude, uh, did I tell you I actually left a review for 2K? Is it good? No, it's actually really, really bad. <laughs> People only leave bad reviews. No. Not if you're paid to. No. Well, not if you're not paid to. Yeah. Or Because I saw a do... bunch of pro, like, 2K ratings, yep. and somebody even left a comment, and they was like, these are very, very clearly purchased yeah. reviews. Yeah, so you... The only way that you'll leave a review that's positive yeah. is either you're paid to do it, or that's your hobby, is leaving reviews. Ugh. What a dick thing to say. Really? No, well, I feel like you're... What if you're, like, on a date with somebody for the first time, and you're like, what's your hobbies? And you're like, I leave reviews. Mm. Wait, I'm a, I'm a critic? Yeah. Critic sounds cooler, though. But, like, well, yeah, they're, like, a that's Yelp you would reviewer. Say I would say I'm a critic. Yeah. <laughs> like, it just make it sound better. If you, like, leave reviews over, like, movies and foods and stuff, that's different. But, like, if you're just, yeah. like, anything I come across, I leave reviews. Oh, yeah. It's like, eh. yeah. But still, that, I mean, that's the only way that you're going to leave a positive review. Because who's, like, how overwhelmingly good is something that you're, like, I'm going to go on there and leave a review and just tell everyone in the world how fucking great this is. Like, that's usually not a yeah. normal person thing to do. But you can have a very negative one where you're like, fuck them. I'm I'm telling everyone they're a piece of shit. Yeah. That's why you see negative reviews. That's why I asked if it was good because I just figured it wasn't. I've actually read a review over like, uh, I guess kind of on the subject of STI awareness, but like over uh, fire and ice condoms. Because I remember when those came out and this was back before I was... Uh, Raw Dog Boy Roy. Not Raw Dog Boy. That's, uh, I, could, I could have definitely worded that a little differently. But, uh, yeah, I'll just say Raw Dog Roy. No boy. There's, there's no boy in this. But, um, yeah, I was like, I really wonder what that feels like. Because I was like, this just sounds like Icy Hot. Mm-hmm. And I've had Icy Hot, and it burns like shit. And I looked up the reviews, and somebody was like, this is like if you 
fucked a jar of icy hot. And I was like, yeah, this is exactly what I pictured. <laughs> I was like, who's this for? There's some weird condoms that I'm just like, like, it's cool. Like, it's kind of gimmicky, like, uh, like Taco Bell is. <laughs> but I'm just like, it's cool that you're trying new things, but like. I, I thought you were saying there's a Taco Bell condom. And I was like, I could see them doing that, but. Yeah, Baja Blast. <laughs> Again, Blast is such a good name for a condom. It's really aggressive. Yeah, Baja Blast. You just blast through the condom. <laughs> That's a bad condom. You ever been in round of like a lambskin condom? No. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of sick. I don't know why they pick a. I don't know why they pick lambs for that. <laughs> There's so many animals. I don't know why somebody's like, I want to take the intestines of that animal and fuck somebody with it. <laughs> like, surely God, lambs can't be the only animals who work out with that. No. <laughs> it's just no. like, God, I hate that fucking I was going to look up why, why lambskin for lambskin condom, but I kind of <clears throat> don't want to know. Yeah, I really don't. Because it feels good. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want those responses. I just Sorry. want... Thanks, Jimbo, from Bullitt County, Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, they've done some sick twist of shit to sheep. Like, um, like to, like to that was, like, an old form of, like, um, um, I guess just, like, sexual protection. I don't know what term I'm thinking of. Uh, it was a... I don't know what you're trying to say. Yeah, I don't know. But um, they, to prevent a child from being born during intercourse, like back in the olden days, they would smear lamb's blood on the doorway. Oh. Yeah, and they would think that would, like, prevent childbirth. But that's probably why most of us are here, like, right now. (laughs) It's because of our great, great, great grandparents are fucking retarded. They did a lot of shit back in the day that they just thought would help. Like, uh, like, not cancer, but, like, they used to think smoking was good for you. (laughs) Sorry, I kind of I kind of jumped the gun on yeah. that one. Yeah. I don't think anybody's ever thought cancer was good for you. <laughs> Insert the uh, Randy Marsh sticking his balls in the microwave. Yeah, just, <laughs> just gonna get a little bit of cancer stand. <laughs> yeah, so literally one person, one cartoon person, has ever thought that cancer was good for you. In all fairness, it's one of my favorite characters, like yeah. cartoon or not. Randy, He's Randy great- Archer. Roger? Bojack, Roger, yeah, yeah. These are those are like some top tier characters. Oh yeah, I'll even say uh, Fry from yeah. Futurama. Yeah, which is kind of an unpopular opinion because it would usually be Bender, which also could be on that list. What did you say, Bender? No, what did you say after? Did you say possibly could be on that list? Yeah, he could. Also oh, I think said Scooby list. could be on that list. It took me a second to break that down. I was like, why would he just randomly throw that in there? And I was like, sure. I disagree, but... Scooby can be on the list. Why not? I don't know. Scooby's not one of my favorite characters ever. I like Freddy better, honestly. Fuck. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was say, I, was, fuck. I didn't for a second, and yeah. I was just like, wow. That's his, <laughs> it was wrong. That's his quote. But no, him so, just like making everybody separate, but him and Daphne, so you could just go banger in a haunted cabin. It's always like one of my favorite things about that show. <laughs> all right, all right, everybody else, uh, y'all go do y'all thing. <laughs> it's like, all right, let's go solve the mystery. You yeah. all split up. <laughs> we're we're going to go explore this cabin bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Herpes, both oral and genital, can be spread even when there are no symptoms or sores. This is called asymptomatic shedding. Suppressive antiviral therapy significantly reduces asymptomatic shedding and outbreaks. Valaclover taken daily can reduce risk of transmission to a partner by as much as 50%. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case you wanted to know. What are we talking about? Oh, just awareness colors and shit? Yeah. I was thinking about like a 69... Uh, bronze Herps Roy. Mm-hmm. What do you think your bronze card is? Uh, if y'all don't know what we're talking about, yeah. in arguably my least favorite game that I play every single day, uh, in NBA 2K22, they have a mode called My Team, and you can pretty much like make your own team. And for mm-hmm. different people, they have different version cards. Obviously, the better the card, the higher the rating and shit like that. And like, Ricky Rubio has a 95 overall card from, like, whenever he did good <laughs> against New York. Yeah, the game. The yeah. game he did good. And then there's, like, Brian Scalabrini, who has a 40 overall card. So yeah. that Ricky Rubio is more than 
like well over twice as good. Yeah. So I don't. I like to think about that in all aspects of life. Like, yeah. what's that person's like? Like third galaxy opal, which is the highest rating, mm-hmm. and then bronze, which is obviously the lowest. Yeah. What's was, your bronze card? I was gonna say my bronze card might be your MGK days. I mean, yeah, but I was gonna say more of like going in like my eighth grade. You're going into my freshman year. I was five nine and I couldn't hit a hundred pounds, so I was like ninety eight pounds. Holy shit! Yeah. God damn. So that's definitely my worst. And then that's like rock I, bottom. And then I grew to be six four, and then next year, so yeah, kind of nice. But yeah, that's probably the worst. I was thinking like I didn't know if you was either going to go physically or you was going to be like yeah it was definitely after my heroin addiction <laughs> I was just like oh shit no heroin addicted <laughs> Brendan had a sixty two overall <laughs> still a sixty two <laughs> still higher than Brian's <laughs> Calabrini <laughs> not as bad as an injured player but eh, it's not good yeah but no I think five nine Brendan was not a good Brendan. <laughs> Yeah. Not being six foot. Like, not great for me. The dark days. Yeah. <laughs> That's truly the worst in humans. <laughs> Speaking of that, dude, I was I was at the gym today and I swear to God, every guy there looked like uh Alexander Volkanovsky. <laughs> They were just short, really in shape dudes that were losing their hair. <laughs> I swear to God, they was all built exactly like him. And I was like, I don't know if I can like say anything to any one of these guys. Because like any one of these guys could actually be Alexander Volkanovsky. <laughs> <laughs> I had to really play my card safe there. So what's your bronze card? And don't the other than the one that you already said. Oh, Herps? Yeah. All right, Herbs will be silver. <laughs> my my bronze card would probably be American Eagle V neck oh. and cargo shorts. Oh, that one's bad. Yeah, so I never wore Sperry's. I never had like the complete thing. Okay, but I would do that and then like wear Jordans too, which yeah. arguably might be worse. And then yeah. I had Herpes Awareness socks on. <laughs> yeah, I remember you... I had like bright fluorescent V necks. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I also had that style for a while. I feel like if you wear a V-neck, you you should be like, like overtly buff, mm-hmm. or like be kind of gross about it and have like chest hair, you know? Because I didn't really, I literally had neither one of those things, no. <laughs> so I had nothing that I was trying to show off. I didn't have tattoos back then, so yeah, I was just a dick. <laughs> I was just doing it to be a dick. What's what's whenever you wore your like suspenders? What? What what rating am I giving yeah, that? Yeah. Is, it, is it Ruby? Like it's not your Galaxy Opal. No. What is my Galaxy Opal? I guess that picture of me with my dick tucked. <laughs> I guess that might be my Galaxy Opal. I was gonna say I'd hope that my Galaxy Opal hasn't happened yet. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. No. My my Galaxy <laughs> Opal is definitely elementary school. That's not when I took that picture, by the way. I don't want y'all to think of their I mean, I was still technically a child. <laughs> I was like sixteen. <laughs> I remember that made its way, like, onto the internet. And we had our, like, school rivals. And I remember one year, some kid, like, that even played basketball there, they posted that picture of me with my dick tucked, like, taking a picture in the mirror. And they said, this is the kid we're supposed to be worried about. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, a bunch of people from school were, like, commenting on it and, like, retweeting it. And I was like, y'all don't. I, nobody said y'all had to be worried about me. <laughs> I was like, I think I averaged like 10 points and eight yeah. rebounds a game. Like y'all really don't have to worry about me that much. You were just looking for an excuse to post this. Yeah. And I'm calling the cops. <laughs> I'm 16. You perv. <laughs> it's really weird. I actually have it on a t-shirt. Yeah. And then we're to school and everything. Yeah. That's the only reason I know about it is you showed me your t-shirt at school of yeah. it. I don't want to go into detail about who made it for me because I think that could actually get them into trouble. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's, I guess only if I press charges because it's not who you would want to give you that shirt. <laughs> I'm not yeah, going to say I, what school, but he is a principal now. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go any further in detail. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very weird present to get, but... Yeah, it's pretty goddamn funny. I wore it to school and uh, I actually showed a teacher. <laughs> Herpes is a very manageable skin condition and does not cause any damage to internal organs. So I guess that is something else that's fucking up my vision <laughs> and not the herbs. 
Dude, on the side, it's a link to uh, this, and it says understanding herpes with H. Hunter Hansfield. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck to just be the face of herpes? Also, his initials are Triple H. He doesn't look like Triple H. <laughs> Triple H M D. <laughs> his fucking name is H. Hunter Hansfield. He is Triple H. Herpes. And he talks about herpes. He's quadruple H. Yeah, that is. That is. That is a quadruple H right there. God damn. The face of herpes right there, buddy. Um, yeah. Okay, so I guess before we get too far away from it. Song of the week? Yeah, what's your song of the week, buddy? So, a friend of mine recommended a band called Slay Bells. They recommended an album that they think is just uh, 10 out of 10, no skips, perfect. <clears throat> I really like that album, and... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't like it as much, but I do really like this band, and the song Rosary is my favorite from them. So, that's my song of the week. It's pretty dope, man. Yeah. I've had a weird week of, like, bouncing around what song I thought it was going to be. At first, I thought I it was going to... too. Yeah. Because I have a bunch of backups. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the new... Another song off of Silk Sonic's album. Yeah. Is Which on. is how you started the show. Yeah. Yeah, no. pretty crazy. Yeah. I didn't want this to be the end of the show, so I couldn't. Swish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix that in post. <laughs> the confidence of a of a twenty something year old white man. I forgot my age for a second. That's why I said twenty something year old. But um no, like at first I thought it was gonna be uh, rehab by Amy Winehouse because it it played so many times just on its own. Like I, I hit shuffle and I swear to god every day it played one time. I was like I love that song so Yeah, I had zero complaints. And then today at the gym I heard um uh Baby Got Back at a very crucial point in my workout and it like really helped me get through it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, and I actually replayed it after. Hmm. Yeah. Uh so I thought it was gonna be that. And then I settled on something that I thought was going to be it last week, which is um, American Problem by Kevin Abstract. Oh, yeah. Dude, really good. so good. Yeah. Dude, I'm actually... So fucking good. I'm really happy that that's the one that you went with, because I don't like the song Baby Got Back. Oh, you just don't like it? I don't pick to listen to it. Dude. I don't have it on my phone. Like, it's not downloaded on my phone. I don't... But yeah, I just don't like that song. I don't want to hear Watching it. workout tapes by Fonda, but Fonda ain't got a motor in the back of her Honda. That is fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's just overplayed for me. Yeah. Yeah. I listened to it too. Yeah, I was, saying, I was like, what are you... <laughs> it's in so much shit. It's referenced all the time in movies and stuff. And not anymore, <clears throat> yeah. but it was. Like, it's just... I don't know. It's just kind of overdone. It is kind of crazy, like, how much that has changed. Because, like, I remember, like, when I was like... 13 or 14 or something, uh, a song by Nicki Minaj came on, and my mom just, she, no, she's very pessimistic and just, like, not liking other people. Yeah. <laughs> but she was like, she's like, ugh, I don't understand why guys, like, find that attractive, like, talk about her big butt. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's so weird. Like, the generational difference there, because I was like, yeah. I think that is hot as shit. <laughs> And I was like, I, I obviously didn't tell my mama at that moment. That. <laughs> but I was just like, yeah, that's fucking gross, mom. <laughs> so I don't get it either. Yeah. What do you think that, like, what do you find yourself, pessimistic or optimistic? Uh, um, you might fall in the same, like, boat as me. Because I heard someone describe how they were looking at some, like, it was either an album or a game or something, like, that was yeah. coming out, a movie maybe. Um, and the way that they described it is cautiously optimistic. And I think that's perfectly for how I am. Everything that's announced, I always am like, this could be album of the year, but I don't want to get too excited. I want to kind of like tone it down. I want to wait, hear it. And then whenever it comes out, I kind of just like, this might be my favorite album like ever from them. I might and be then, cautiously pessimistic then. Really? Always... I always like to tell people to expect the worst, like no matter what it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like no matter if you're just like, oh man, you know, I hope this delivery comes in on time. And I'm just like, don't expect it to. Or mm-hmm. like, then, you know, 
Like, How you know, fun. I'm about to have sex with somebody for the first time. I'm like, expect the worst. <laughs> like, you know, don't set your standards high for anything, and you won't be disappointed. Like, yeah. if a I sequel is... I was like, and you know if a sequel comes out for anything, I am assuming the worst every time. Yeah. Like, I do not have a single shred of hope for it, and if it's okay, then I'm like, oh, well, that did a lot better than I thought it was going to. Yeah. I found myself... I think The Hangover did that for me, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. In Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt's sequel is fucking horrid. Yeah. It, it's honestly probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And Chucky. I don't know. There's just like a lot of sequels that I'm just like, man, if they would have left it the fuck alone, mm-hmm. it'd been great. I don't really like horror movies like that. Just because I find myself... Horror movies are easily... Maybe... Comedy. I mean, comedy is probably yeah. either first or second, but like... Some of the worst offenders to like and oversaturated, pump, yeah, pumping out sequels just because of the money, yeah. But you know, having said that, like I know I talked about it recently, but the new Halloween isn't that bad. Yeah. It's pretty good. It shows some dude like the shape of Danny DeVito killing himself, which I didn't expect. Yeah, that one footage we showed that showed that uh that woman killing herself. <laughs> we showed is a very relative term, but um, like what what part the show or the we sure. part. I was like, we could say both. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I think, um, <clears throat> honestly, I and mean, I don't know when this changed, because I've kind of been very critical of slashers. Yeah. For ever. Because I kind of just like, oh, it's in the horror movie genre. But I'm like, they're not scary. But yeah. someone kind of was just like, just, they're fun. And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah just when, have fun with movies sometimes. Whenever like, I'm being critical of something and I see somebody say, well, did was you entertained by it? I'm like, yeah, kind of. And they're like, well, that's what it's supposed to do. And I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> yeah. Like I, I didn't realize that. Like whenever I watched like uh, Suicide Squad, that was the like, example I was going to bring. Yeah, up. I was like, this movie fucking sucks. And somebody was like, I don't know why people are knocking on it. I enjoyed it. And I was like, it was pretty entertaining. And I'm yeah. like, oh well, fuck. I'm I, one like, of those I had people. <laughs> I had fun through seventy five percent of this movie. <clears throat> yeah, like just there was boring as shit parts, and that's why I think that movie sucks. But yeah, it's fun when it needs to be fun, and that's kind of what I want out of some things. Yeah, the pyromaniac fucking sucked in it. Diablo? Is that yeah. his name? Yeah, he was so uninteresting. Just, I, I didn't give a single fucking shit about him. Honestly, I would have liked him more if he just stuck to his guns and just never fought. Yeah. But the fact of 75% of that movie, he's going, I just don't want to fight. I can't do he's it. I don't I don't want to. And then he, don't. he puts them all in danger multiple times because he won't fight. And then at the end, he's like, all right, I'll fight. And yeah. with really no one convincing him at that point, they're like, oh, he doesn't fight. And he goes, no, I'll fight. He's yeah, like, I would have immediately what? been like, fuck you. Yeah. Like, no, you have almost fucked us. You have fucked us multiple times. Yeah. You're not going to do undo that now, you piece of shit. Yeah. You know, like, just keep being a pussy then, you know? Yeah. You want to kill my family. I don't care. <laughs> you want to kill more people by not doing it? Yeah. But, yeah, I think especially, honestly, any media, but movies is kind of, I think, the biggest culprit of this after i watch a movie i'll think about it a lot well not always but if a movie makes me like think about it a lot then i start to either really really love that movie or i start to really hate that movie and suicide squad was a movie that i left the theaters going oh that oh, was you saw that in theaters yeah i didn't know you did mm-hmm. i was like this is super entertaining it's super fun but then thinking back on it and i was thinking about some of those scenes i was like oh this, this isn't a great movie but i still had fun with it yeah. Versus, like, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The first time I watched it, I was like, that's a really <clears throat> long movie. It was a lot of fun. And the more I've thought about it, the more it's grown on me. I like it a lot more. Yeah. Is there is there movies you have, like, that same opposite Suicide thought World. process on? Well, right. Like, the more you think about it, like, the more you hate it? Suicide Squad. Oh, that is the movie? Yeah. Like, oh. that's a good example of, like, I left that movie just being like, that was so fucking fun. And then yeah. every detail I think of it... I'm like, well, that sucked. Well, that sucked. That part sucked. Oh, this part wasn't great either. And I start to just be like, you know what? I don't really love that movie. What's a perfect movie for you? A perfect movie? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Because, again, a perfect, the closest you could probably get to a perfect is like. Reservoir Dogs, maybe. Oh, wow. No, no, because I don't. There's actually a part of that movie I really, really don't like. Yeah. I think Quentin Tarantino is one of the worst actors I've ever seen. <clears throat> and in that movie, I think it's very apparent. I was like, because I'll see Quentin Tarantino in some of his movies, and I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't even realize that was him. And that one, as soon as he came on screen, I was like, oh, that's that's the director. I was like, yeah. he is making a cameo. 
And then he just <clears throat> keeps going, and I'm like, oh my god, leave the fucking screen. Like, you're the worst actor in this movie by the longest shot. Please stop. It doesn't help his case that he also very much looks like a foot guy. Yeah. Outside of him being probably the most well-known foot guy. Yeah. Like a foot a, guy nonetheless. Do you have a perfect movie? Because <clears throat> I wanted to say Once Upon a Time, but I don't think it's perfect. I think there's a... I Some think of it drags on. The Mar... The... Uh, I can't think of her. Mar... Margot Robbie? Is that, yeah. I think yeah. her scenes drag. <clears throat> yeah. Like well, I, I think that I don't know. Maybe it's because I love that movie that I'm trying to find. Like find. I love it too. Yeah, because I think I think what makes those that moment good mm-hmm. is because like you're expecting the whole time that you're like, mm-hmm. oh my god, we're just seeing her go around town, enjoy her day, being happy, nice, carefree, and we know how this story ends. Yeah, like she's gonna get fucking butchered. Yeah. So I think that's just kind of adding up to that, and he gets to show her feet. So yeah, that's it. It felt more like the second thing a lot more <clears> than the first, and that's why I kind of think it drags. Is I'm just like I'm just seeing like, but it doesn't make me like her more other than a couple of those scenes when she's like when it's first presented and she's like, oh, that's me in the movie, and it's like, oh, that's kind of cute. But then yeah. whenever you see her sitting in there and she's laughing and she's smiling, I think those are phenomenal scenes. Like yeah. it really that opened. Yeah, up they could have like just showed that. In it, I yeah. think that would have been better, but it does what it does. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have no complaints about that. Yeah, I don't know, but per it just that's what takes that movie out of like perfect for me. Yeah, but I don't know a perfect movie, and I don't think like there's a true perfect anything. No, you know, like you, you'll get like a nine point nine maybe. Yeah, but to say anything's perfect is pretty crazy. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Really so I guess not really. I mean, I have, like, for, like, certain categories, I'm probably, like, this is, like, for me, a perfect, like, like, a perfect horror movie for me is probably, like, Hereditary or something, Mm -hmm. you know? But I don't think, like, a overall, yes, this is perfect, you know? Yeah. I don't know. That's a good question, really. I've never really thought about it. Yeah. Um... I actually, from a long time ago, I have a list of my top ten movies, not in order. Oh. And it's not... How long ago? Uh, this was last updated January of 2019, and I don't <clears> even have 10 on there. I guess 2019 I was, was a good year for movies, But too. I think I was just starting this list. Oh, shit. So, but... I don't you know. None of, uh, none of these are perfect to me. Either. Yeah. Because, like, I'll, I'll name some of them that are <clears> on here. <throat> Fight Club's on here. I don't think it's a perfect movie. Yeah. Drive's on here. I, I don't think it's perfect. I think it's pretty fucking good, though. La La Land's on here. I thought Ex Machina was your favorite movie. You've always said that? Yeah. And, and I've always told you it's not. It is. I'll a, say it again, like, next week, yeah, too. It is a top movie, but <clears throat> it's not my favorite movie ever. The yeah. Shining's on this list. Yeah. It definitely has its scenes that drag. Yeah. Uh, the Nice Guys. That's pretty fucking good. That's Com- a comedy Russell Crowe was- and... Um, yeah. Ryan Gosling, right? Yeah. Comedy wise, it might be one of the funnier <clears throat> movies I've seen. I didn't expect it to be funny. No, honestly. I think that's why it was so fucking funny. Yeah. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World's on here. So, I don't know. Yep. None of those are perfect, so I don't know. I don't really have a a perfect movie. Yeah, I, I've seen a little bit of yeah. that. I don't do. People with herpes have very normal romantic and sexual relationships. After diagnosis, you may feel like your life may never be the same again, but you will soon feel better. There are countless online communities and support groups for you. No, no, I'm not reading this as someone with herpes. Stop assuming I have herpes. (laughs) Emily Duberman. (laughs) She definitely has herpes. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That's herpes. (laughs) Like, I mean, this is the, the article for it, so I mean. Yeah. I definitely don't think I would have no. had the herpes cover balls to post my uh, picture of my face and yeah. full name. Just being the poster child of it. <laughs> Here it is. Quadruple H. Quadruple H, the face of herpes itself. Who does he look like? He looks like some old fucker in Hollywood. All right. It looks like Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> he, that's his dad. Quadruple H. <laughs> You just name one less H. Triple H's son is double H. And then just H. (laughs) 
the negative age. <laughs> but no, uh, while we're talking about the man, myth, and the legend himself, not tri- quadruple H, but, uh, oh, fuck, I forget his character's name. We'll just call him the guy, the main actor from, um, <laughs> the main actor from <laughs> from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Leo or Brad? The main. Leo or Brad? They're kind of both the main. No. he uh, Brad Pitt literally got nominated for like... Secondary? Yeah. He's kind of the main actor in that movie though. Mm. Sure. Technicalities. But Leo. Yeah. I was going to talk about this week. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, Why'd you do that? <laughs> so... Dude, my computer is really trying to out me today. I know it. It is trying to get me in all kinds of fucking trouble. With who? You think I'm just going to snitch on you? Like, I'm not in trouble, but I mean, it definitely wasn't the most incriminating, uh, yeah. like, I guess, search history that could have popped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean... It's definitely airing out your dirty laundry. Yeah. Now, if like a, the search would have popped up and it was like how to uh, how to grow your dick in three quick easy steps, I'm like, that's <laughs> it. Looking up for a friend. <laughs> it's like, why'd you? Why whenever you looked up how, it just pulled up how to kill your roommate. <laughs> it's like, huh? <laughs> I don't know about this one. <laughs> how to kill your roommate and grow your small dick. <laughs> I know your roommate with your small dick <laughs> in three easy <laughs> steps. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was wanting to uh, talk about this. Okay, all right. And I have it. I have its green recording and everything. Okay. So, what do you take away from this video? Besides how short Jeff Bezos is. I think they're on steps. Yes, yeah, I did, I did yeah. too, because you see him lift yes. up. For the but, longest, I was like, Leo's that tall? Yes. But if you're Jeff you Bezos and that's happening, you have to take a step up. Yeah. Yeah. Will you uh, mute it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, no. Um, I'll uh, yeah, pause that too. But, okay, that's a good pause. The look. Yeah. That's what did it for me. Like, Look at everybody in that video right now. Even this guy. <laughs> but look at Jeff, look at his girlfriend, and then look at Leo. Yeah. I think... Like, when I first saw this, I was like, dude, people hate Jeff Bezos, so they're just like... they're. I mean, they're, they're, they're trying to make a mountain out of a, a molehill. Mm-hmm. But that look is pretty incriminating. If Leo... That's a, that's a hell of a look to give somebody. Look, if Leo would have said... All right, come with me. She would have, and I don't think there's That's, any. Yeah, yeah. There's okay. any doubt to that? You say there is, or no? I don't no think. Doubt? I don't think there is any doubt to if Leo would have been like, "Come home with me tonight." She would have left Jeff Bezos. I think. I wonder and, if Leo has prom. I bet he doesn't anymore. <laughs> I bet at some point he had prom. Um, he goes to order something and it said expected within 200 to 770 business days. <laughs> You're just, God damn it. <laughs> I think, I don't know. This is a weird video just because it's, I don't know. It just shows that money <clears throat> doesn't matter all that much. Well, it doesn't to a certain point. Like, it's not like... That she's standing across from, like, an attractive burger flipper. Like, this is Leo. He's got his own money. Sure, it's not Bezos' money. Net worth compared? Yes. Yeah, It it is is. a burger flipper. Like... Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's still money. Like, it's still, like... You're not gonna be like, ugh, now I only have Leonardo DiCaprio money. Yeah, like, it's still generational wealth. Yeah. But, I mean, dude, it's still... I mean, it's just Leo. It's just Leo. It's just like I know what you're saying, but that's a still or just. You said just. Oh, I meant yeah. still. Like, yeah. dude, well, it's even in a good Leo. way. Like, dude, it's just Leo. Like, know. you know, like yeah. I mean, what can you do about that? Is Jeff yeah. bald by choice? Um, no way, right? Yes. I don't think anybody is. Is he? Can he grow hair? I don't think he can grow hair, but he has enough money he could just have, have hair. hair. So yeah, by some some way, he is a uh, he is bald by choice. Bronze punch in the air somewhere <laughs> out there. <laughs> Leo's net worth is two hundred and sixty million 
to three hundred million. Yeah, and Jeff Bezos is, is two hundred one billion billion. billion. <laughs> That's um, fucking crazy. Okay, so something else important. Look up Leo's height. Oh, oh, I've never even. Yeah. So, at what point does net worth not matter based on height? <gasps> Leo's five eleven. I didn't look up Leo's yet. Oh, Jeff, uh, how tall Jeff? Five seven. All right, yeah, five seven. What's what's Leo? Six one. You're so close. It's six foot. Five seven is six foot. Yes. It's another win for people over five eleven. Dude, I'm over six foot. Well, yeah, okay, no, you're right. Cause, yeah. Well, because then I think like 5'11 and three quarters, which are probably the worst people. <laughs> Brad Pitt's 5'11. That's heartbreaking. I'm going to say he's I six foot. Yeah, I didn't want to know that. I'm just going to say he's six foot. You didn't have to say that on it's camera. right here. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess it doesn't matter how much your net worth is if you're under 5'10. <laughs> I mean, goddamn! Like you, if you're Jeff, you have to take. It's not gonna. I mean, take two steps up. Like that is happening. You go, up, up. A man, Fanny. a man that's that much more attractive than me, and popular, and taller than me. I'm not looking up at him. And no, neither, and no scenario. And if I make two hundred billion dollars, I'm not looking up at anybody. And neither is my. Girlfriend, she's not looking up. We're both taking them steps up, and I'm gonna have him yep. step down. And we're gonna I'm gonna have one of the him. Amazon Prime drones <laughs> fly me fucking everywhere, and I'll just piss on Leo from above. Yeah. Whenever you look up Leo's height, yeah, it says he's six foot. Brad Pitt is six foot. From That's what right. we're gonna say now, <laughs> um, Leonardo da Vinci is five nine, and Tom Cruise is five seven. Five nine. That's got to be pretty tall for back then. I would. I what would. Was, think so as well. What was the fourth one you said? Tom Brady? Tom Cruise. Oh, Tom Cruise. Five seven. Yeah. Jeff Bezos has the weirdest three recommendations. And by weirdest three, I mean two of them are the, exactly who you'd guess. And yeah. one of them is, how would I guess that? His height is five seven. Yeah, of course. Zucks is five seven. Hmm. Starting to notice a bad pattern there. Bill Gates is five ten. So who do you think the last person would be here? Is there a six foot tall billionaire? I would have guessed that the is, next is it like search, Anthony Davis or something. Well, I would have guessed that it would have been like Elon. Yeah, it's Grimes. It's five five. Why, why is she there? I love Grimes. <laughs> I do too. But <laughs> if you look up Jeff Bezos, it's like you want to know about Grimes, don't you? Elon's probably right. How tall is Elon? I don't know. It didn't pull if it he's up. He's five seven. I swear to God. <laughs> There's. It's no longer a coincidence. <clears throat> What's all is he? I, I don't... It, Does it not say? It fucking pulled up, like, articles. Like, okay, whenever, he's like def- you know how you pull up yeah. the other ones, it just does yeah. this? Okay, so he's definitely below six foot. He did everything to get rid of the... 5'11". <laughs> you can't be a billionaire in six foot. Okay, so question. Would you sacrifice, like, eight inches of height to be a billionaire? Eight inches? <laughs> Eight inches. What? What are you? Six four? Yeah. So yeah, you'd be like five eight, five seven, maybe. Say say yeah. Say your Zuck height. I just looked it up. There is a six foot billionaire. Trump. <laughs> is it Trump? It didn't. No, it didn't pull that up. This Look is up the tallest, tallest billionaire. This is. Oh, you this did? is. This is the. Who is the tallest billionaire? Bill Gates um, is fourth at five ten. Hey, do you want me to pull that up? Sure. So that's green recording? Sure. Yeah, go for it. Let's hope uh, my search history doesn't um, fuck me over again. Well, I am already on, like, uh, herpes thing, so. Uh, what did you look up? I looked up, is there a billionaire that's six foot? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> She's single. <laughs> Bezos is ten. Uh, so is this just a top ten, or is this yeah. all of them? No, this is top ten. Oh, there's only 10 billionaires? There's got to be more, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying. No. Well, I mean, that kind of makes sense, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, Jeff Bezos of the United States is 5'7". Mark Zuckerberg, 5'7". Mike Bloomberg, 5'8". Not really rep in America that well. You know? I mean, that's kind of shit. I mean, three fucking billionaires on the... Amancio Ortega of Spain, 5'8". Carlos Slim... 
That's Slim's awesome. a pretty cool last Dude, name. That, that's what I was thinking. I was like, Carlos what a cool fucking Slim. name. And also being a billionaire is Carlos Slim. It's just so much cooler. 5'8 is not cool, but... Yeah, he's a f- Slim in 5'8. Mr. Slim at 5'8. <laughs> Warren Buffett. I didn't expect Warren Buffett to be 5'10. Uh, yeah. Ditto's on Bill Gate. Yeah, being 5'10. Larry Page, 5'11. I mean, you're a billionaire. There's nothing you can do to like bump your height up an inch. I mean, I think... They're probably worried about other things. That's probably why they're billionaires. Yeah. Because they don't really care about their height until they meet Leonardo DiCaprio with their girlfriend. Yeah. Bernard Arnault of France. 6'1". Fucking French people. But, number one. Oh, yeah, I got to move it, <laughs> Larry Ellison of the United States. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. But he's a billionaire, so I figured, you know, he'd be on the radar somewhat. But 6'3". So it is possible to be a billionaire, <laughs> billionaire at over six foot. I've never seen this man in my life. <laughs> no, he's not real. <laughs> it's just a like, computer-generated picture. <laughs> just not a real person. Yeah. Larry Ellison. So it is possible. Yeah. So, but, all right, we'll go back to that question, though. Would you, would you give up your height to be 5'8", but you're a billionaire? You're a five eight billionaire, or would you stay at six four, six three, six four? Well, I'm still taller than Grimes. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. There's so much of. I mean, as long as I'm taller than my current girlfriend or Grimes, I'm all right. Yeah. Is how tall is your current girlfriend? I don't think she's five eight, but she is. No. Oh, dude, she's pretty short. She's like five four. Five four. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'll still be taller. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I am, I'm like, damn near a foot taller than she is. Yeah. I don't think I could do it, man. Yeah. I'd rather just be broke than be 5'8". Yeah, I know. I've spent a good amount of my life looking down on people quite literally yeah. <laughs> and symbolically for being under six foot. Yeah. Like I've, I've developed a decent amount of my personality around it, too. That's what I was so, going to say. So if you take that away from me, I I don't know what I got left. Yeah. I'm a tall, skinny guy. That's kind of how I get girls. Like, yeah. And Brendan Slim. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't... What am I going to do if uh, if I'm not the tall? I'm just skinny. Yeah, I'm but at least you're a billionaire. Yeah, because yeah, can you imagine not being either? You're 5'7", five, so, five, seven, just not a billionaire? Or Spud Webb? <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you not make a million dollars if you're not six foot? Yeah, because I'm assuming that's what fuels Kevin Hart. Yeah. Is that small little tank. <laughs> <laughs> So it doesn't take a lot of fuel to get them going. <laughs> like, I'd have so much more motivation if I didn't just... Yeah. If I wasn't just tall. That is true. Like, a lot of things come easy if you're taller. Really. Yeah. If I wasn't decent looking, tall, and white, I'd probably have so much more motivation to do something. Yeah. This video has 20.5 million views. It's really funny. You know what's even funnier than... Oh, God. <laughs> the first thing that came up... <laughs> Five seven. I don't think there's anything weird about her be- behavior. She had to look up at him. He's taller, duh, and she was smiling. What's the big deal? His behavior, on the other hand, oh yeah, was kind of rude. He just walked off. Yeah, he wants to keep his prime account, <laughs> and that is a look, bro. Also, Basil was threatened to kill him afterwards. Yeah. So that is a look, though. That's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For yeah. Sure. I, I think you're very not wanting to see it if you don't think that's a look. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you do or who you are. You'll always have people. <laughs> you'll always have people just talk shit about you and also just support you no matter what. And that's someone just supporting yeah. someone for no reason. Yeah. Man. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, like, what? what? Also, what? Yeah, people are weird. <laughs> um, yeah Dude just tweeted a picture of his daughter Under the comments that daddy's a little butterfly And then comment. Very strange remarks <laughs> This is obviously one of uh, One of just a few times I've used Twitter Gosh I was posting a picture of my daughter And heading Heading to her first trick or treat on her street Meant no harm yet The filthy response Oh god I don't like it buddy There's only 8 comments on that one the fuck? All right, I mean, that's a fair one. 
Yeah. What? A, I don't know. One of the few times Check's Twitter page defends Trump of uh, accusation of sexual assault. Check's out. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Lost my support. And unliked it. <laughs> Sean Kelly. But, uh, here. Yeah. But Jeff Bezos replied back with something that, honestly, from his actual account, like, when I first saw that, I was like, oh, that's, a like, a parody account. But I was like, no, that is actual the billionaire who is in charge of Amazon and maybe the future of sp- space exploration. <laughs> yeah, like, so when I first saw that, I was like, oh, that's hilarious. And then later I seen that it was still getting buzzed, and I was like, I thought it was pretty funny. And yeah. then I realized it was from Jeff Bezos. Like, I didn't even think it was, like, a fan. Like, I thought it, someone just replied with that picture. Yeah, I did, too. But, no. It's and him. Usually, when a billionaire does something, even if it is funny, a lot of people are just like, that's not funny. That's funny. That's hilarious. Like, yeah, that's not funny because he's rich and in charge of pretty much what I order everything from. But Yeah. That is just a hilarious thing that happened from someone who doesn't seem human. He's got some sexy forearms. I didn't expect him to be in shape. Again, I don't... I didn't think that that's what he cared about. Yeah. Yeah. It's always weird seeing people below, like, six foot be super buff. It's got to be easier. Yeah. Yeah, the weights are... You don't have to lift the weights as high. I've always... Like, I have long arms. Yeah, like I've poor, always been, like... Yeah, like, poor Anthony Davis, right? Yeah. Like, whenever he wants to bench, he has to, like... <laughs> like yeah. He has to touch the ceiling with it. But if you're, like, like five seven, you just... <laughs> 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 Leo when his Amazon account stops working <laughs> but yeah. why is this so funny to y'all you tweeted it <laughs> <laughs> that video is so fucking funny oh, man, oh. oh hold yeah. on alright beginning of the video now there. yeah <laughs> I want to say just the touch me part. <laughs> Fucking touch me. Because it sounds like a girl. Yeah. Making the video. Oh, it definitely is. Like, I don't know for yeah. sure, but it 100% sounded like a girl. This dude was saying, just talking shit to this girl. And this girl just says, honey. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah, uh, you have yeah. no hair, sweetie. You have no hair, sweetie. And he and loses just, he his shuts him mind. down. He loses it. Like you can, like I can audibly hear that, like Windows uh, ninety five shutting down noise, yeah. and just like this was so good that I dare a bald person to ever talk shit to me again because I will say the you have no hair, sweetie. Well, you would definitely think that he'd be prepared for that. Cause, I mean, it's yeah. like he it just happened. Yeah, to him. He like he just lost his hair, and yeah, he he's like. What? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? This is very sensitive to me. Yeah, he don't look new bald. Like, yeah, that's, that's old that, bald. Yeah. <laughs> old bald. That's old bald. Like, <laughs> that's going to be my porn name. <laughs> old bald. <laughs> you have no hair, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I thought this whole interaction was great. Yeah. For like Jeff, taking it like a champ, maybe. I haven't heard from Leo, so he... Might not be around, but you yeah. know what? I'll follow you, Jeff. Yeah. It was just something from people who almost don't seem human. Yeah. This was one of the most human interactions I've ever seen, and it was kind of nice to see. Yeah. And that's not, because I know it's a touchy subject now of like actually liking someone who has money, but yeah. yeah God I, forbid, right? I'm not going to defend Jeff Bezos for any reason that you don't like him. Don't like him or like him. I don't fucking care. But this is funny. And I think that everyone should just agree. Yeah. Yeah. I'll order from something from Amazon the same day I get some from McDonald's. I really don't care, you know? Yeah. I thought this was weird. Yeah. I am happy of where the lowest lows are. I didn't know he dated Blake Lively. I didn't either. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. But I just think it's <clears throat> this could have been horrible. Yeah. It's bad, and it's weird, but it could have been horrible. You think it's bad? The only In reason... many situations, if you've seen a 46-year-old with a 20-year... A 45-year-old with a 20-year-old, you'd be like... 
Yeah, yeah, no doubt it's a little odd. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's kind of odd. The only reason I think it's odd is because, like, what does a 45-year-old woman, I mean, what does a 45-year-old <laughs> man talk to a 20-year-old woman about? Don't know. Like, it's so, that's so odd to me. Yeah. You know, It's wild that he'll dump anyone who turns 25. Like, he has an age limit. Yeah. I mean, I mean, technically, outside of the whole gender thing, I'm I'm right in his age range. You think I got a chance? Not for much longer. I mean, you're going to turn 25 relatively. Yeah, so. I, I would I would still have enough time to have some fun with Olio. Mm-hmm. Not much time. <laughs> I got to make my move. <laughs> I wonder how much of an accomplishment it'll be to be <laughs> the woman who turns 26 with Leo. <laughs> I'll find out. <laughs> Dude, how crazy would that be? Like, next episode, we see the same list, and it's just me <laughs> here. It's just right here. Roy, 24. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I hope it happens for you, buddy. Yeah. I hope it happens for us. I'd love for Leo to promote the podcast. And then you just see this, and it just says, through infinity, because me and Leo get married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dude uh, my girlfriend has said she doesn't think Leo's attractive it's, that's a crazy statement I always think that's wild cause like she has told me celebrities that she thinks that are attractive like uh, like obviously like Chris Hemsworth Harry Styles I'm like I agree with that mm-hmm. but whenever she says like Leo's not attractive I'm like what am I doing for you that Leo's not yeah. you know yeah. you yeah, know cause I, I'm, mean, I start not to question a, things. I say not in like a mean way but like yeah. yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you have to offer? <laughs> I, I knew. I knew if I was like, yeah, that is a, like a weird way to compare. I knew that's where that was going to go. So, yeah, no, that's immediately where my mind goes because then I look at. It's probably not going to help zooming all the way in <laughs> on this picture. Uh oh. No. Yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm just stop that. Yeah. But it is. I don't know, just because, like, then it just made me look at Leo different. I'm like, I'm doing something. He's not. <laughs> like, what is it? <laughs> what, what do I got going that he doesn't got? I don't know. Speak I like Jeff Bezos' girlfriend. <laughs> speak of, um, kind of on that same note, did you see who the sexiest man alive is? Ant-Man, baby. I don't think that was audible at all. Ant-Man, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Rudd. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I think he's pretty sexy. I just don't agree. I think a lot of his appeal for me comes from his charm. Yeah. He seems like a very charming guy. But And I, I'm assuming that they were just tired of giving it to George Clooney every year. I swear to God, I think he's won it like 60% of the time. He just keeps getting better looking. And it oh, is cool that uh, Ryan Reynolds and Paul Rudd are both part of the MCU, and they both have one Sexiest Man Alive. Yeah. The that award kind of doesn't mean as much anymore because didn't Blake Shelton win it? Did he? Uh, I'm pretty sure some country guy won it. Hmm. Tom Cruise has won it. Yeah. Nobody under six foot should win. <laughs> Texas Man Alive. <laughs> Brad Pitt won it. There we go. Not under six foot. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at me like that. Yeah. He won it in '95. Won. Yeah. Denzel Washington won it in 96. Yeah. George Clooney won it in 97. Yep. Harrison Ford in 98. I did not know that. He's He looks old in yep. 98. Harrison Ford. Well, he kind of was. Yeah. yeah. But it, that definitely doesn't look like the sexiest man yeah. alive. Yeah, Especially that's Especially knowing it. that all three of the people you named before were still alive this year. <laughs> yeah. Brad Pitt won it again in 2000. That's which, right. Yeah. I was say I'm kind of skipping through. Ben Affleck won it in 2002. Uh, I didn't expect that. I, I like how you said you were skipping through. You skipped one year. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Depp, 2003. Yeah. Yeah, he, he definitely has some uh, sex appeal behind him. Mm-hmm. Matthew McConaughey, 2005. That's right. Again, I skipped another one year. That's because I don't personally know who that is. That's fine, buddy. George Clooney, 2006. Yep. Yeah. Matt Damon, 2007. That's odd. That is an odd one. Hugh Jackman in 2008. That's right. Man, the MCU's going crazy. Johnny Depp again, 2009. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds, 2010. 
Bradley Cooper, 2011. That's right. Channing Tatum, 2012. Yeah. Adam Levine, 2013. Huh. That's not the year I would have expected him to win it, but... Chris Hemsworth, 14. Okay, I was going to ask if he's won it. David Beckham, 2015. Oh, he should have won before that. Yeah. yeah. That's a very good-looking guy. Yeah. The Rock, 2016. That's right. I didn't know he won it, but he should have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like the only bald man that I think is actually sexy. Blake Shelton, 2017. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. It gets weird. Oh, I don't know how to say his name. 2018 is... Uh, Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Yeah. yeah, very good looking dude right there. Did you see he had to make the comment that About he's his voice? trying not to make Knuckles sexy? He's his like, I just have such a sexy, sexy voice, I just can't help it. <laughs> they should have had him in the way too sexy video. <laughs> 2019, John Legend. 2020. Oh, I really don't like that one. I, I do not think John Legend's sexy at all. No. He's kind of like like mousy looking. <laughs> that small little guy. 2020, Michael B. Jordan. That's fair. And then 2021, Paul Rudd. Weird. Now, Paul Rudd really feels out of place there now. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't hate it. I mean, Blake I think, Shelton's been on there, so. I think we have a sexiest man alive award every year now. Why don't we have an ugliest man alive? And it should only go to celebrities, kind of like this does. Because it doesn't go to models, because you think that like people who are actual like models would at least win it once. But these are kind of like, it feels yeah. like the celebrity group. So who's the ugliest celebrity? Let's give out an ugliest person of the year award. Who's that dude that played Bean? <laughs> you, know I'm t- you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he aged exactly how you thought he would. Here, here, I let looked me look him up. Okay. At first I was thinking you were talking about Bean. Mr. Bean. But no, you're talking about even Steven Bean. <laughs> uh, it pulled up Bean. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look Busted up, Bean coffee. Look up even Steven Bean. <laughs> Dude, if someone ever calls you Bean, just know you're not a good looking person. Oh, yeah, here he is. Here's this guy's transformation over the years. <laughs> oh, not that, but... <laughs> 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 no, no. Here, here, here's my favorite one, <laughs> dude. I mean, do you, oh my. Do you have? I looked up the ugliest actors. Just look up ugliest actors. Um, Sam Cassell. I can't. I can't believe who's number one on. This do you know list. who Sam Cassell is? Mm, uh, no. You will. This is Sam Cassell. Yeah. yeah. He's an ugly guy. Yeah. He's a, like, whenever I think of, like, is someone ugly, I think of how horrified would I be if I looked down my hallway and I saw them. <laughs> and if I saw Sam Cassell at the end of my hallway, Dude, I would be horrified. This list is brutal. Oh, damn. <laughs> ugly celebrity <laughs> kids? That's fucked, Dude. Uh, yeah. It, um, look up, look up. Very odd. Yeah. Real quick though, look up ugliest actors. No. I, I yeah. This I just thought this was mind boggling. Yeah. No. This obviously. Yeah. I'll none of up. the list even say like ugliest. No. So like, yeah. I don't know why that came up. Yeah. You gotta look up ugliest actors. Oh, okay. Ugly actors who are hot? No, I just want actors. <laughs> All right, and then go to... <laughs> oh. Why no, are you, they... you looked up ugly. Look up ugliest oh. actors. Why are they... Are they all Indian? Oh. It's a movie called Ugly. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, they're not that bad. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then... Top yep, 10. this one. And Macaulay then it'll start at, it'll start at one. Daniel Rack, this disgusts me. <laughs> this is <laughs> what? Yeah, isn't that weird? Daniel Radcliffe, if you're watching this, just know I'm not voting on this. During childhood, he was my favorite, but now he's one of the worst and ugliest. I liked him in Home Alone, but he's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, they shouldn't have used this picture, but you know what? 
I, I will vote to that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, dude is banging Brenda's song. So, yeah. who am I to say? Yeah. <laughs> John Travolta. Ugliest alien, looking dumbass face, uh, fake face turd burglar I've ever seen. He's too hideous to be considered human. He's actually, he's okay actually, but other actors are just better looking than him. Those eyes? No, no. <laughs> Yeah, John Travolta has had a lot of work done to him. Yeah. Him and Grease, it kind of a piece, you know, but a little Grease piece. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I wouldn't have called him a piece, but just for the rhyme, I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Buscemi. It's odd because someone took to Macaulay Culkin's responses to yeah. say, gives me nightmares. Steve Buscemi shouldn't be on this list, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's Steve Buscemi. So, yeah, I, yeah, I think he should be on here. Yeah. Yes, indeedy. You cannot get any uglier than this guy. We'll never see him in a love scene with any woman or man. He's hideous in the best possible way. Yeah. All right, next. Number five, Bill Cosby. He is a rapist and he's ugly. What is this terrible list and how is Radcliffe number one? Weird place to comment, but yeah. I agree. <laughs> Right, he is a rapist and ugly. Yeah, that picture definitely is not doing him any justice. Next one, William Defoe. Yeah, he looks like the Green Goblin without the mask. <laughs> he didn't even need a mask. Okay, I feel like these are all for the jokes. Yeah, I don't think William Defoe is the sixth ugliest guy ever. How is Bean not on this list yet? People forgot. Seven. Oh, okay. that's a really bad that's, picture. That is honestly one of the worst pictures I've ever seen. <laughs> I was coming through this list and saw this monster. My girlfriend is literally a retard for saying this guy's handsome. Still not out of the emo phase. Should be number one. That's a horrible picture. Ugly ass mofo. <laughs> Feel sorry for him. He's the ugliest. Like, I ain't got problems with emos or God, but this dude is just a greasy ass ugly monkey. Hmm. What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> He's really <laughs> ugly. Um... He's not bad looking nowadays. This no. is really, really that's bad. That's an awful picture. Yeah, that's like, this is like a bronze 37 card. <laughs> <laughs> this is not his peak. No. Owen Wilson. Now, even that picture they used of Owen Wilson is really not that bad. Yeah. Looks like an actual foot. <laughs> Ugliest man I've ever seen. Needs shot in the head. <laughs> Needs to be shot in the head for being ugly? This is why I hate humanity. <laughs> Ugly and horrible actor. All right. Oh, you're not moving on? He could get some plastic surgery. That knows, though. That knows, sorry, but he has enough money to get that fixed. Why would he want to? He's perfect the way he is. Shut up. Why'd you get on this list? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't think Owen Wilson <clears throat> needs to be shot in the head. I don't think he's the eighth ugliest person <clears throat> ever. Yeah. I think pictures alone, this is the ugliest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awful picture. <laughs> Robert Pattinson is a really good-looking guy. Like, look at the picture they chose. I don't... I definitely don't think he's bad-looking. I think he's a good-looking guy. I don't find him... I, I think he's okay. Like, I really just don't find him great-looking nor bad. Well, you know what I have to say? But if he's... He's but, cuter than you. <laughs> huh, <yeah. laughs> um... Seeing him as Batman might do it for me, but... Is doing it for me. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't seen him as Batman yet, so... I don't even care about Selena Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks he is handsome, huh? He is the ugliest person and talentless person I have ever seen. I have no idea <laughs> why Ice Cube's at 10. You see the comment? A real poop. Icky. <laughs> Okay, you want to do one bonus one? You want to go to eleven? There's oh, I thought it was just top ten. You think the? <clears throat> yeah, this whole website's called the top tens. I feel like uh, I feel like Dr. Dre wrote this. <laughs> the three moles that he has looks like tiny little bowling pins, and if his nose got any wider, he could see his brain. I don't think he could, but <laughs> okay. Yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen is kind of ugly. Yeah. I'm scared of his face. This is full on creepy, scared and ugly. Are they saying he's scared and ugly, or they're scared and he's ugly? That would just suck to be scared and ugly. 
This list goes to 25 if you want to, like... How's Rupert Grant yeah. below For, uh, Harry Potter? Like, Daniel yeah. Radcliffe himself. Yeah. Danny Trejo. That's not fair. That dude has been through some shit, I'm assuming. <laughs> Born like Frankenstein, yeah. John Krasinski. Yeah, bro, they should have posted the picture of him with a beard. A beard helped this guy out a lot. It really did. Because outside of that, he looks like uh, fuck. What's the? Do you remember the like claymation characters that were like on a farm? You know what I'm talking about. I can only think of Wallace and Gromit. But yes, I'm, is that really? Yes, weird? yes. I'm Doesn't he? At, I'm looking at Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, right now please see. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I got to see. <laughs> I can't believe you remembered that so quick. But yeah, he, his Are facial structure just reminds me of uh, Wallace and Gromit. I'm assuming Wallace is the guy we're talking about, right? Yeah, Wallace and Gromit in the where the Curse of the Were Rabbit. Yes, I love that movie. I we, do too. Yeah. I actually, we actually should watch it. Yeah, I know we're supposed to be watching like every Marvel movie, yeah. ever made, but goddamn, would I love to watch that movie? Yeah. Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, Mr. Bean. Yeah, he deserves to be there. Yeah. Why he look like that? Adam Sandler? <laughs> All right, we'll only, do, we'll only go to 20. Uh, if you want to, like, quickly go to 25, because 25 is a pretty crazy one. Nicolas Cage, Josh. I don't know who that is. I don't either. Wesley Snipes. Didn't get Baron Softy, Salman Khan, Ashton Kutcher. That's just me. Jack Black. Yeah, and look at 25. Creepy looking and talentless. They're really harping on the talent aspect. I feel like this is all the same person yeah. who's writing the talentless thing. Jack Black just shouldn't be, just wouldn't be the same if he were attractive. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably fair. Oh, yeah, terrible. What's the comment? Come on now, it's Danny DeVito. Take him off. <laughs> well, if I see Danny DeVito, I'm going to tell him to take it off. Yeah, but yeah. That's what a the, piece of shit. That's the ugliest people, list. according to this bad list. Yeah. But I feel like <laughs> I feel like the same way they give out a best looking, they should give out an ugliest. It was really ugly. Who? Harvey Weinstein. I swear to God. Yeah. Yeah, no, very much so, I agree. But I thought you were going to go, you, and that's been jammed. <laughs> <laughs> Get jammed, bitch. <laughs> but no, um, who am I thinking of? Uh, hold on. You just said Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> What just happened? No. You think of Wallace and Gromit again? Elon Musk, brother. I've never seen him in my entire life. Yeah, his name's Kimber. Hmm. McKimble. Yeah. Um, I looked this up earlier because we was you know talking about Elon, mm-hmm. and I uh, I don't know the context of it, but holy shit, I can't see it now. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. I have not clicked on that, but I would imagine it has nothing to do with him. <clears throat> but I think there there's probably not much funnier than me to me than like somebody not having any ties with someone like Jeffrey Epstein or Harvey Weinstein, but you just don't like the guy, so you just like connect a picture of them to and mm-hmm. put it on the internet yeah. no connection at all but now anytime they look that up that pops up and you're like oh my god why does a picture of Brendan Cron pop up when you look up Bill Cosby yeah. <laughs> and it just has nothing to do about you but it's just y'all's two pictures side by side yeah, people are going to be villains yeah like, and especially because like that'll probably go off of like clicks so if you can stitch those two and just get clicks on whatever your big headline is you're now associated <laughs> Dude, with that I know it's odd asking you this, but can our thumbnail please be a picture of uh, a poorly cropped picture of like you and Bill Cosby? Why me? Can it not I mean, be me? Can it be you? No. Then no. Well, I don't want it to be. Because <laughs> you know, that would be so crazy. Just like like somebody just scrolling through YouTube and they're just like you know scrolling through videos and it's like we is that we could Bill? do this in the positive way. We could it could have been like Leo. Like we just put Leo like like as nope. he's sitting right here. No, nope. <laughs> I want I want that style of picture, just side by side a picture of like Jeffrey Epstein and then you. I don't want it. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> make it. 
All right, we um, got we got our thumbnail. No, I don't like it. Uh, we've covered anything from herpes to uh, to Kimball Musk <laughs> and yeah. everything in between. Yeah, and if you were wondering if we were going to talk about sports this week, we're not. We usually do, but we might after this, after we stop filming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's been Jamie with yep. Ronan Rex.